is one of the stories because Policing Minister Kit Malthouse is going to be in Middlesbrough later to hear Cleveland's new Police and Crime Commissioner bid for more funding to tackle serious violent crime. Cleveland Police wants to set up a violence reduction unit because the force area is one of the worst for violence across England. Did you know the Cleveland Force area is second highest per 100,000 per population for violence against a person, the third highest for firearms, fourth highest for offences involving knives and sharp instruments, fifth highest for hospital admissions for assault with a sharp object? Well, Cleveland's Police and Crime Commissioner Steve Turner is listening into that as well, and uh, you've got a lot to, to deal with at the moment. Steve, morning. Good morning, Neil. Uh, yeah, there is a lot to deal with and there's a uh, lot going on and it's great to have the Minister up here today to be able to discuss that with him. What are you going to be asking for? Do you know yet? Yeah, I think uh, what the government's done really well over the last three years is invested over £100 million in 18 forces up and down the country in violence reduction units. Now, the, the name sort of doesn't really do them justice in the fact that it's, it's very much a, a joined up approach that takes into account how we divert young people from getting into crime in the first place, how we support um, vulnerable people who mm. who getting dragged into crime and, and how we take them out of it before we get to the actual incidents which, which we see and we hear on, on the streets of Teesside every day. And Steve, what kind of violence would a reduction unit that we're talking about address? Give us a, a flavour of that if you would. I think the the really scary thing I've seen since coming in this job, I mean, the, the headline figures are shocking enough now, the ones you just let out there. Um, but for me, it's it's the frequency of that. And and I read a report every day as Police and Crime Commissioner and an overnight report about how many times we've had to display our armed response vehicle, number of incidents involved in things like machetes, mach, machete attacks across Teesside are, are horrendous. And, and those things I've seen, and, and part of the presentation to to the policing minister today is is some videos of of some pretty graphic and horrendous um, crimes that that quite frankly shocked me to the car when I saw them on Friday. Um, I'm conscious of the time we're we're on the radio this morning. You know, and that there may be children listening. Is is this, is the more you can elaborate on that without going into too much detail, or not? No, not not really. I think okay. they, these are the types. These are the types of things that you you would see on a graphic program after the watershed. And and you or I would look at it and think that that's done for for impact, and yet these things are happening on our streets. Well, we've been overlooked for for money in the past, despite the increase of knife crime in the area. Um, do you know why that is? And secondly, does it frustrate you? Um, uh, yes and no. Um, I, I do know why that is. I think why? what what we've got is. The way the way the violence reduction units um, are funded, uh, they're based on hospitalisations and they're based on total hospitalisations, not per capita, which is what we tend to look at a lot of funding uh, formulas with. Now, that puts us as 19th, so we just miss out on the funding. Our, our pitch to the Minister and our argument when I spoke to the Home Secretary last week is when you look at those incidents per capita in Cleveland, um, we, we are well up there. We're, we're in the top 10 for everything and one of the few forces that are in the top 10 for everything that don't get funding. So I understand why it's been made like that. Um, I recognise the good and the amount of investment the government's put into into both our area and others. But for me, we need some real capital investment to allow us to set things up. And, and we're not just talking about now, we're talking about putting things together that will be business as usual in the force going forward. And, and we just need that that okay. impetus now to be able to set that up. Steve, will being a Conservative Police and Crime Commissioner make any difference to whether Cleveland's going to be getting this cash or not? I, I think it's important to, to recognise that this this reduction unit funding's gone across the country. So Northumbria, one of our near neighbours, which is a, a, a Labour Police and Crime Commissioner and has been, um, they've got their funding. So it, it's not about the, the colour of the rosette you wear, it's about whether it's right or wrong. And for Cleveland, it's definitely right that we get it. And both myself and the Chief Constable will be working together on that to ensure that we do get this funding. And groups can also go for funding as well, I gather, as well. This is younger people who can focus um, and show some purpose as well. What, what more can you tell us about that? Yeah, alongside that, I launched um, on Friday a, a fund that allows groups who work with vulnerable young people to deter them away from violent crime um, to apply for funding pots. So that, that's already there. That's running separately alongside anything else we do with the Violence Reduction Unit. And, and I would actively encourage groups. Uh, I think one of the best examples I see locally is the Chris Kay Foundation in Redcar, 
that does a phenomenal amount of work with, yeah. with young people aimed at deterring them away from knife crime. And it's those types of groups and those types of organisations I am actively encouraging to come forward for, the, for this funding pot we have available. And how do they do that? Where's the best place to get a bit more information on that, Steve? If, if you go to my website, um, at Cleveland Police and Crime Commissioner, um, the links are on there and the criteria is on there for, for what people need to do. And it's something I'm passionate about. It's something I've talked about for, for a long time now. Okay. And, and we really do need to get a grip of this in Cleveland. Good luck with today. I'm sure we'll be reporting on it uh, tomorrow morning about how the meeting with uh, the policing minister, Kip Malthouse, goes. Thanks for coming on this morning, Steve. Great stuff. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Nice to catch up Cheers. with you. Uh, there you are, the, uh, the brand new police uh, and crime commissioner um, for the Cleveland Force area, Steve Turner, with that uh, important meeting. We'll let you know uh, what comes from it, of course, across the rest of today.